thank you so much for being here. We're Miss TV. Yeah. And a couple of questions. So 2024 is wrapped up. Yes. What were your favorite moments for 2024? My favorite moment was this morning when my movie was top 10 on Netflix. Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> that was my favorite moment. Because, you know, we were coming off a strike, which was pretty harsh on everyone. We had no idea how long it was going to be. But then our movie came out two days ago. It was our premiere in Warner. And then today I wake up and it's top 10. And I was... I feel so happy. It's my favorite moment. That's it. That's my favorite moment. Good. Nothing can top that. <laughs> I mean, we're 2024 is over. What else can you ask for, you know? <gasps> so you were in Star Trek. Yes, I was. What was your favorite moment filming that? My favorite moment was when I met Sir Patrick Stewart. And our first scene had to be him shirtless on the table because he was dying. That's not a spoiler. Everyone knows it because it came out last year. Um, and then as he's laying down shirtless um, in a very like awkward situation, he starts asking me, where are you from? And I'm like, Argentina. And he starts telling me tales of when he was very, very young, like in his 20s, doing theater in Argentina. Nobody knew. I had no idea. And there we are bonding on that table. It was amazing. With him shirtless. With him shirtless, this amazing human being. It was, it was awesome. Well, you're going out at 2024 with a bang. Yes. What can we expect from you in 2025? Wait, no, 2023? We're going to 2024. Oh, we're going to 2024. Okay, girl. Well, I, I already, we already time Did traveled. a whole year? We're in Star Trek right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, so okay. 2023 just yes, wrapped. Yes. <laughs> so what can we expect from you in 2024? Well, you know what? I've been someone that is always anxious and stressing about the future, right? and not enjoying the moment and not being present and worrying about my next role and worrying about like what's coming next. I want to stay present. I'm going to Miami with my family. I'm going to spend holidays with them. That's what I'm looking forward as of now of 2024 to have a good time and just chill with my family. And yeah, that is such an authentic response. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you get your inspiration? How do you, you know, get out of bed in the morning? And Girl. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's hard, it's hard because this industry has a lot of ups and downs and it is my main thing, like, you know, I'm trying to get something else to focus on. W one thing that I do a lot is I dance, right? I dance different things. I dance salsa, tango, bachata, no? That helps me on my worst days of like, you know, like I just went for a huge role that I didn't get that a really close friend of mine got. That was a huge blow. I was depressed, I was really sad, and what got me out of bed was having other things to do and, and, and seeing uh, Berme with my friends, you know, and my family. That just helped me, you know, just taking it day by day. So if you had to pick one dance region to dance for the rest of your life, which one would it be? For the rest uh -huh. of my life? That's cruel. <laughs> salsa. Si, salsa. It's my passion. I'm obsessed with it. I just started tango because I want to honor my ancestors. I just say Argentina and I in Argentina. But salsa, hands down. That's it. All right. It is what it is. Well, before you go on into the event, is there anything else that you want to like leave with your audience thinking about or wanting to talk about later? I would love for them to watch the movie on Netflix. It's called uh, Holiday in the Vineyards and to support uh, Latino uh, artists. That's, you know, that's all we want. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah.